Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another uh, daily vibe for the 20th because evidently that last one was for singles. And it's funny because before I did that, I was thinking I'm going to do a singles segment next. And that's what I've been thinking about all day. So that's why that happened because I was like, oh, I got to do my singles because I've been getting, getting a lot of requests for the singles segment. So before I, I actually sat down here, I was thinking about it again and that's exactly why that happened. So it makes complete sense. But anyway, we're going to do another one. We're going to do another reading for the 20th and see what comes up. This is meant to be for whoever. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, this is a message from my guides for somebody. I decided to use a, a couple different decks here. We're still going to use this one. Um, we're just going to see what happens. All right. This reading is not sign specific and it is not time specific. All right. So let's see what we got here. What do we have for the 20th? Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And you should be watching this on my channel, okay? You should be watching this on the channel Soul Source Tarot on uh, YouTube. Nobody else has any authorization to download it as their own. This just came a flying out. Emotional withdrawal. This is the Eight of Cups, okay? This is the Eight of Cups. So this is leaving something behind, okay? This is finding peace um, on your own, okay. See how the guy he he's he's basically left left the struggle behind. He's gone to a peaceful place to release, okay. So this is somebody going to a peaceful place to release. I'm releasing to find peace and serenity. So we got this is walking away. Oh, eight of cups. That is absolutely walking away. So we got somebody here that is is walking away from something. You know, they're leaving something. They're leaving something behind. Um, so let's get one of these. There's, there's been some disappointment, you know, I've got to find peace. And the only way for me to find peace is to leave all that busyness and all that noise and all that drama and everything behind. So somebody is going to find peace someplace else. So they're walking away. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So yes, yeah, somebody is finding discipline. They are. Discipline to leave it all behind. That does take discipline. It really, really does. So. Emotional withdrawal. Just want to be alone. You know. That's what we got here. I need to be alone to think about things. To think about, you know... What lies ahead? To think about what I want. What is my wish fulfillment? The next card is the Nine of Cups. So this is somebody withdrawing from everything to go within to refocus, really. And that takes solitude. It, you know, it takes time alone. So that's what we got here. Somebody is going within. Ooh, Ace of Wands, no desire. No drive. Something has gone south. It's like the fire has been put out. There's no, there's no excitement left. Somebody's been weighed down. There's other options. And they may see that there's other options. Right? Obviously they see it. I know there's other options for me. So something has not materialized and they probably see that there's a better option. So they're walking away. Yeah. I mean, I can't make it up. It is what it is. We got the Eight of Cups twice. We definitely have somebody here that is walking away. And there is no doubt about it. There's, it's true. Okay. The time is now. Eights, you know. They're leaving the emotional disappointment behind. And it's like things have been confused, confusing. They may have chosen the wrong thing, you know, and now they realize it, you know, and maybe they made a poor choice based on looks and now they're walking away. So somebody is leaving something, an illusion and the confusion and the things behind. I'm leaving that shit behind. So somebody is leaving something behind that 
was an illusion, okay? Because this is an illusion to go after what they deserve. You know, I deserve more. I deserve reciprocation. You know, it takes, you know, equal give and take. This is reevaluation. Somebody is reevaluating what they deserve. Some, they see that there's a bigger, better opportunity waiting for them. I want something better. I want something bigger. I want something more abundant. I want something more stable. I want something more solid. And it's like this is the hand of God saying it's available if you want it. There's potential. There's there's solid potential here. So it feels as though we have somebody here that knows that there's a bigger, better opportunity. But in order to get it, they have to walk away from an illusion where there's no growth, there's no excitement, there's no passion. So we have somebody here that is leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. And it's because it's like they're presented with this golden opportunity. And I think that they have been presented to it. It's presented with it. It's like God has shown it to them. Or the universe or whatever you want to call it. Now this is manifestation as well. You know, maybe they're, they're going to manifest this bigger opportunity. Whatever it is, they're letting something go that they are no longer passionate about. Because there is something better. And this person sees it. Yeah, they're putting the brakes on something. There's no more growth there. There's no, there's, they're, cause they're, so they're shutting down all communication. They're no longer moving forward. They've been restricted for long enough. Now they see that there's another opportunity. Like I said, there, there was fear of the unknown for so long. Fear of change. There's indecision here. Somebody has been thinking about this for some time. They have been. They've been thinking about it. But the fear of the unknown has kept them in a situation that felt safe, you know. It felt like it was safe, but it was an illusion. It was an illusion. It just looked good, but it didn't feel good. No passion at all. No passion at all. No growth at all. Um, they're le somebody is leaving behind a commitment. They're leaving something that they were committed to. They're leaving, uh, it could be a marriage, could be a partnership. Um, they're leaving it. They don't want to be committed to it anymore. There's a breakup of some sort here. A split, perhaps. There is a split. No longer going to hang around. I'm not hanging around, not sacrificing myself. I'm seeing things. Somebody is seeing things from a new perspective. It's like they've been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened that they deserve more. They are. They're putting the brakes on. They're blocking communication. They're blocking any forward movement with something that felt good for a minute. It looked good, but it didn't materialize. It didn't really excite them. You know, it made them sacrifice themselves. You know, sacri they sacrificed what they truly deserve to hang on to this situation. But now they are seriously leaving it behind. They're finding the discipline to face this illusion, you know, and to step out of their comfort zone where they have been afraid. They've been afraid to step out of their comfort zone. Now we have the wheel of fate. The wheel is spinning. This phase, this chapter is coming to an end. That karmic situation is over. And I'm going to ask you all right now not to um, point the finger at anybody else. This is your decision. This has to do with the person that is watching this reading right now. Living some sort of illusion. The, the universe is giving you the opportunity to change your destiny as we speak. They are giving you the opportunity. It's a big golden opportunity to change your destiny. It's a change of course. This is the wheel of fate. This is a fated change of course.
It's time. To close that old chapter. This is closing a chapter. And step into your new phase, your new chapter, your new life. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to where you are meant to go. Consider this a lucky break because this is a break. This is a break. And I, I, I'm going to tell you one more time. This is a break that is in your hands. It's not the person that you're waiting for to come back. No. This is your lucky break. This is your lucky opportunity to grab on to something solid, stable, and secure. And it has nothing to do with the person that you are waiting for. That person has already walked away. That person has already found their peace. This is your opportunity to grab on to something solid and stable because it's like God, the universe, angel, spirit. It's like they're dangling it right in front of you. So I feel like we have somebody here that is has been reevaluating and they're walking away from a commitment that didn't materialize. And that's what I got. Something better is right around the corner. And I mean right around the corner. Something very, 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 very good is coming. It is, it's a reward, okay? It's a huge opportunity. But it's when you find the discipline to leave the illusion, the fantasy, the fear, leave it behind. When you choose to take that step and know what you deserve, you will receive the reciprocation that you deserve. And it's going to be bigger and better than this fantasy or this illusion that you have been hanging on to. Somebody is letting go of the emotional disappointment. They're letting go of that commitment that didn't materialize. It didn't grow. Because they do have something better. So if this reading is for you, congratulations. <laughs> because you are about to receive an opportunity That is very fortunate. This is your lucky break. This is luck. This is this is it. These are for those of you that have walked away or are walking away. For those of you that are still living in fantasy land, you've restricted yourself. You haven't crossed that bridge yet. You literally have to cross that bridge. to get what you are this golden opportunity so I feel like the 20th we have somebody here that is making the decision to let go the hangman reverse they are no longer hanging on I deserve something solid I deserve something big and it's like the universe is saying here you go you broke free you stopped hanging on you know what you deserve here you go congratulations <laughs>